Hi, I'm David Buchanan, Applications Engineer for the High Speed Analog to Digital Converter Group of Analog Devices. With me is Michael Sink, a software engineer in our group. Today, we're going to talk about Visual Analog, the new analog to digital converter evaluation software from analog devices. Visual Analog software interfaces with ADC evaluation boards as well as ADC modeling tools, enabling the user to evaluate performance using digital waveform plots, FFT analysis, logic diagrams, and other features. With Visual Analog, users can place and route processes, which we call components, in the order they choose, giving them a lot of flexibility. Now, the area that is used for connecting processes is called a canvas. And, as you can see here, I can drag and drop components and connect them. So what I'm going to do, and just real simply, is uh, generate a tone. And I'm going to route that tone to a graph and also a data grid. And I'm going to change my frequency to show the sine wave a little bit better. All right. Let's show them how the software works with an evaluation board. Now, newer ADCs usually have an onboard serial port to allow the user to configure a number of features. And Visual Analog can auto detect these converters by reading back the chip ID and automatically configuring the canvas on the startup. So, if I'm at the startup screen, you can see that a 9211 was detected, and now I'm going to choose an FFT. So when I open it, all I really need to do now is click the Run button. Now from the startup screen, I can also select other options, such as a two-tone, or even just look at the waveform. Another handy tool is the Logic Analyzer. That allows users to see the ADC output bits activity from sample to sample. Yeah, that's right. So if I select the logic analyzer, I can also view an extra waveform on the, the same graph window. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to toggle the additional plot and I'm going to display the time domain underneath the logic samples. Now, Visual Analog allows you to synchronize the zoom between the two plots. So now, I can zoom in on the same time area between the two. That's really handy for customers to use when they are zooming in on an arbitrary waveform and they want to find out what the ADC outputs look like when the, the, uh, a particular event occurs. Customers can also use Visual Analog to interface with one of our ADC behavioral models. Let's give an example. The same processing can be used whether you're capturing real data from an evaluation board or if you're simulating the ADC using our ADICM ADC behavioral models. Now the nice thing about ADC modeling is that no external hardware is required and you're also in control of the input data. Here's an example of modeling the AD9246 response to a single tone input and looking at the FFT result. Like I mentioned before, I can also select other types of analysis options directly through the startup menu, just as I would when using the evaluation board hardware. It's not difficult at all to select any of these basic options from the startup menu and run right away. Of course, some users may want to take this a step further and create their own advanced canvas. You know, something I find really useful is the configurable FFT analysis Visual Analog offers. Now, in this example, I have data representing a modulated waveform stored in a file, and Visual Analog is capturing the ADC output spectrum in an FFT. The normal FFT analysis in Visual Analog assumes the signal of interest is a narrowband signal and searches for the frequency bin in the FFT with the highest amplitude. Our communications customers can take advantage of the configurable FFT analysis to set the center frequency and bandwidth of interest. So in this example, I have configured the FFT analysis to look for a WCDMA channel at 15.36 megahertz. And um, also what happens is when I calculate this, it also calculates the SNR with respect to the surrounding noise. Thanks, Michael.
Our new visual analog software package provides designers with a comprehensive set of tools for evaluating and modeling our high-speed ADCs. And as you've demonstrated here today, it's pretty easy to use.